OCO and welcome to our First Nations Monday videos again. So um, as you know we have a weekly prayer point with First Nations Monday throughout the year for First Nations people and those serving in First Nations ministry. But we also have a monthly prayer point and the monthly prayer point is based on historical events in terms of intercession on possibly those spirits and those historical types of events that have continued on through the years and centuries and stuff on the land and so for the month of March what I've asked everyone to join me in prayer for is specific to um, the kidnapping of American Indian people, um, trafficking of American Indian people, displacing American Indian people, and the civilizing of American Indian people. And partly why I picked March for um, for these prayers has to do with a lot of different historical events that have involved um, kidnapping and sex trafficking and displacing um, our American Indian people and stuff. And one of the dates specifically that I wanted to mention is March 24th of 1617, when King James I um, set out to have the Anglican Church work to um, work with the I don't know, governing authorities at the time to put together these schools for American Indians and um, you know uh, we've had a long history of that and it's been a very hurtful and traumatic history and one of the quotes that was used um, at that time was that he wanted to create a um, convenient place, um, a building for quote um, a college for the children of the infidels and you know that breaks my heart as American Indian people today even as American people today regardless of your ethnicity if you're in America you feel threatened by other people from outside of our culture calling us infidels and seeking out to murder us while calling us infidels but here back in the 1600s it was um, you know, Europeans calling the American Indians infidels, and that's heartbreaking. And you can see that that's a perfect example of how those that, that spirit remains on the land. I mean, look at all of this time and hundreds of years that have gone by, and there's still this cycle. And we want to come together as believers and pray that there will be a break in that cycle. You know, pray that Creator will deliver our American Indian people from kidnapping, from trafficking, from displacement, from civilizing, and that we would finally be, um, uh, you know, that this curse regarding infidels would get broken, right? Um, and so I asked it would join me in prayer for that. And then also I wanted to share with you um, this neat book that I have. See, it's um, uh, His Glorious Names. And this is made by Kwamini Kinsukina, and it's 365 names for God that are found in Scripture. And so the name for God for today is El that performs, and it comes from Psalms 57:2. And I think that this is really appropriate for this prayer point because we really need to look to Creator who performs miracles, the Creator who performs these um, huge. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, he can just reach his arm into what's going on in our time and in this land and intervene in a real positive way. And so um, join me in praying to El, to Creator who performs, that he would perform a miracle and many miracles, that he would um, perform the restoration of restoring our American Indian people from all of the history of hurt and trauma and the things that have broken our homes over this kidnapping and trafficking and displacement and civilizing and that he will miraculously bring restoration and so thank you very much for joining me in prayer thank you for giving me this opportunity to um, share a little bit thanks for all your views and I just ask that you would pass this along so have a good night Wado.